All right, so now we're going to go to the second part that is creating the tables. So we're going to create the tables using the SSI, SSDT um, project. Here we're going to create a project with Visual Studio. Uh, you can create it many different ways, but we're going to use this because I want you to learn. So this one is going to be part two. Part two, dim and fact tables. Okay, so this is the part two of the SSIS project. All right, so, okay. So make sure that you, you follow the steps, step one, step two, so forth. Now, we're going to do the different thing. We're going to create um, a staging area. We're going to create tables using the SQL data task instead of the data flow task. So here is going to be my, we're going to use this task, this functions to execute my tables, to create my tables, but I'm going to change the name first. So I know which one it is each. So this will be delete Object DW. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that I drop the tables in case if I had created a, uh, any anything in there. So before I do anything, I'm just going to go here and create a OLDB connection. You can right click it or you can find OLDB here. That's a lot harder to find. Uh, OLDB, OLDB, da, 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 task, comments, execute, data profiling, Yahoo script. I, I don't know, see it. All right, I'm going to just grab my OLDB here. You had to go to connections, it's not there. All right, so I am actually going to delete this connection here. This was from the other table that I created. So I'm going to pretend that I don't have anything and I'm going to create a new one. Here I once again I select the last one is already selected and here I'm going to connect to the server. I should have pasted faster. Anyway, okay, so you have to wait for the server to find the server. <sighs> okay, it somehow is not finding my server, so I just had to paste it there. So uh, first, I'm going to get and connect it to the database that I'm going to be using. Connect to the server at is SIS, SSIS retail, and okay, and I'm going to call this. Transactional. All right. So that's that. The sets. That's the first one. Um, if I double click this, I can. Okay. Let's go do this one by one. So I'm going to do the first one. So what I wanted to do here is connect connection. We're going to connect to that transactional there, and in the statement here. I'm going to one second. I'm going to get my script and copy this, and I'm going to drop all my tables in case if they exist, they'll be dropped. Okay. So one thing that you can do before you continue is try to see if that works first, uh, and if it does. See, uh, let me run this here, and we're going to check if that runs. It, it had a problem, and let's go look why.
we had a problem with doing that one. I did had a problem before dropping them. I don't know why. Let's see if it's anything. I don't think this is the correct query. Okay, let me go and find it, the correct query. I think it's withdraw. No, it's not this one. So let's look for the queries. All right, so let me copy these ones instead because I remember some of them have a problem. Anyway, that's in Blackboard, and I'm going to see, okay, and then I'm going to see if it runs. So it ran. It was the query that had problems. All right, so let me come out. So that one is working. I just want to make sure that I copy the, replace this one. Yeah, that's the correct one. All right. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab another task. And this, I'm going to call this, I believe I'm going to follow the order here from my, um, my query. And I believe the second one is supposed to be customer. So I'm going to create that. The first one that I'm going to create is the customer. And okay. And instead to be grabbing all the time a new a task, I'm going to reuse this. All right, so what I'm doing this here, when I look here at this, at this query, this query is going to create the key auto increment, one comma one. So every time that I put data in one table, it will create the auto increment key. So what we're going to do is when we insert data in one table, we're going to go back and update the staging area. So the next table that we upload the data, the key for the customer will be in the table. So that's the trick. All right. So let me see. Did I did everything that I connected the customer, con transactional, true, everything. Okay. So now this one is fine. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm just going to keep doing it. Is the second one is, let's see. This one. So the next one is. Dim date, so I'm going to copy this. I'm going to change this. I'm going to call dim date. I'm going to right click, edit, and the only thing that I'm going to change here is the script. So I'm going to create a dim date table and also has an auto increment key. All right, so here I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste. And the next one is dim location. And let me go and copy this. Dim location also has a auto increment key. Edit. And we're going to change this. OK. And OK. And then we're going to copy this. 
And the last one, I believe, is Dean Store. And I am going to change that query to Dean Store. Okay, okay. And the last query is the fact cells. And I'm going to go and grab this. And also fact cells has an auto increment. And that will be the last two the last to do. All right. So now that I have all of them, I know that my dim object is working and is the one that I had a little problem. Some people had a problem connecting it. So you can run all this separate one by one or you can run all at once. So, okay. So now the, in this step, we are going to create the tables, each of the dim customer, dim date, location, and store. And fact cells is going to have an auto increment key. So hopefully everything is going to work. And it did work. So I'm going to close this. It's perfect. I'm going to go to my database. I'm going to refresh it. If the tables doesn't come out right away, just close the program and open it again. So let's see. I do have all my tables here. And that concludes the second part of the video.